Hi YouTube, today I thought I'd make a video about tobacco, this much maligned plant medicine. Um, a lot of people don't actually know that tobacco is an extremely sacred medicine used by many indigenous cultures uh, across the Americas and also in Australia. Um, various Nicotiana plants were used for a whole range of medicinal uses as well as spiritual uses. Anything from prayer to um, uh, exorcisms to clearing, grounding, um, connection to spirits. Um, there's a whole host of uses that basically got lost. Uh, and on top of that, it's a very good medicinal plant. It's used for all sorts of uh, antiparasitic cleanses, uh, topical use. They even use it as a pesticide. So it's actually a very incredible plant, but it's just been much maligned by the West because uh, essentially, you know, the white man, can, well, actually not the white man, just this modern Watiko infested, um, civilized, uh, whatever you want to call it. The people taken over by the civilization virus and then they turned into a commodity and then became corrupted. So now you have to get these weird packets with dead bodies on them. Um, but I wanted to share what I know about tobacco and how to use it responsibly because tobacco actually can be used as a medicine and as a very powerful ally. And um, the worst cigarettes you have are the ones where you're not using it consciously. If you use tobacco consciously, I think it's actually pretty good. Like I'm not, I'm not a big smoker. I smoke once in a while. Like uh, usually I have a reason for smoking. <clears throat> Today I want to just clear some energy that I've sort of picked up. Um, and yeah, so uh, essentially um, the worst cigarette you can have are the ones where you don't realize you're smoking it. You know, you just light up and then you're, you're the tips, you're down to the tip, you don't even have any memory. So that's when the cigarette is smoking you, okay? Because when you're using it like a drug, it'll, it'll, it'll just be a drug and there's, there's consequences to that. But like, we got to face the reality. A lot of people are addicted to tobacco and you can fool yourself all you want thinking that you're going to quit, but the reality is you probably won't quit. I'm just going to interject here and say, like, it is possible to quit. Like, I'm not making a generalization and saying anyone addicted to cigarettes can't quit cigarettes. You can. It is definitely possible. I've seen it happen. Um, I'm just saying that there are some people there who always talk about quitting, but you kind of, I don't know if they will. You know, let's be a bit open here. I'm, I'm not sure if, if, if they are going to quit, you know. I hope they do. I'm just saying this next bit is kind of for the people who, you know, always talking about quitting, but they're not doing anything about about it. It's just the, the quit talk. They're addicted to the to, 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 they're addicted to the talk about quitting just as much as they are to the cigarettes. Those who are those those are the people who I'm talking about. The reality is, you probably won't quit um, until you know it kills you. I mean, let's just call a spade a spade. But what you can do instead of like freaking out, uh, you can try and reframe your relationship to the medicine. And there's a fairly simple way that you can do this. Um, and that's just to basically smoke it intentionally. Tobacco is an intention amplifier. So whatever you put into this medicine, it'll help you manifest. Now, I'm just sharing the little that I know about this medicine, but it's helped me reframe the use of tobacco that I occasionally indulge in. But tobacco is an intention amplifier. Um, you know, so in a way, having all these like warnings on tobacco is kind of like a curse. You're kind of like cursing yourself when you're, when you're looking at this shit. So it's actually good to get the tobacco out of the packet. So you don't have this horrible, um, thought in your head when you're smoking. The worst thing is when you're looking at this fucking dead body and then just smoking and thinking about the dead body, that's not good psychologically or psychically for your energy. So, um, this is of course, organic tobacco, organic tobacco has been, uh, pseudoscientifically proven to cure cancer. Um, I never smoke any of the non-organic tobacco. Uh, if anything, if I, uh, if I just will not touch that shit because it's full of treat, treated, it's treated with heaps of chemicals. And so it just doesn't feel good. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you how, how to smoke tobacco responsibly, you know? So, you don't have to use a filter if you don't want to, um, uh, but it, occasionally I do. Today I am, because it just feels right. 
So what you do when you're rolling a cigarette is you're actually trying to put your intention into it. So what are you trying to put, what are you trying to use the tobacco for? What are you trying to work with here? Today, I just need to clear some energy, uh, but you can also use it for grounding. Uh, as I said, you can use it for getting messages, um, tuning into spirit, the spiritual world is a very useful plant. Uh, you can also use it as an offering. Um, tobacco is widely used in, in North America as an offering to the spirits. For some weird reason, spirits dig tobacco. Don't ask me why, but it seems to be true from my experiences. Um, so, okay, so I'm just putting my intention while I'm rolling the cigarette, I'm putting my intention just, you know, into the tobacco. So I'm just like, intention here is just to, for clearing energy, for grounding, for just getting rid of some stuff that I'm carrying. Uh, another way that you can put your intention into the tobacco is you can just blow it. In South America, they call this sopla. So with this, you're actually blowing your intention into the tobacco. Just clearing and grounding. So it's in there. So now we're ready to smoke it and I'll show you how. So here we are, we have our intention fueled cigarette here and I'm gonna light it up. <coughs> Now the main thing is to be consciously aware when you're smoking the cigarette. If you're just smoking a cigarette and you're having a conversation with someone and you know, you're just not focusing on the act itself, um, then you're kind of just wasting the tobacco and you're also kind of just needlessly making yourself sick. So the main thing with smoking tobacco is that you're smoking it consciously, all right? So Now it's up to you, but I like to give the first few drags to Great Spirit. That's for Mother Earth. You can also give it to the Four Directions. If you ever get to do a Native American Chinupa tobacco ceremony, which I've done, it takes 50 minutes, like 40, 50 minutes, sometimes half an hour. It takes a long time to eventually get to actually the smoking of the tobacco. I'm just gonna interject there and just say what I might mean by that is that in the Native American Chinupa ceremony, which is a tobacco smoking pipe, peace pipe ritual, which I've, I've been to a couple of them. Uh, it's a very long and involved ceremonial container and ritual. And it seems to focus the energy of the tobacco towards a specific aim. And so when I finally got around to actually partaking of the pipe, it felt completely different. Um, I would almost say like I, was, I managed to connect to a higher spiritual level for for that sort of ceremony and that was a very different feeling to say when you know you're just drinking a beer and smoking a fag you know it's a completely different thing and I guess it's because it's such a powerful and strong plant uh this form of ritual and container is very useful um and I guess making sure its energies aren't misused in a way that will be harmful um that's my theory anyway on with the video now you don't even have to inhale the tobacco. It's just, it's up to you. But the main point is you're trying to smoke consciously. So I've given my offerings, I've given, given it to the source, I've blessed the cigarette, so now I can smoke it. Now, while I'm smoking it, I'm actually, it's an energy, it comes into you, you can feel tobacco hit you. So I'm trying to circulate the energy through, through my body. Now, I practice a bit of Qigong. Sometimes when I'm smoking cigarettes, I find it's quite useful to combine them both. I'm just trying to clear myself. I'm just feeling the tobacco smoke. I just feel my cells. And you're really just trying to feel the tobacco because I don't smoke that often. I actually really feel it quite strongly. If you're heavily addicted, you might not feel it as much. You know, that's a problem. But okay, I'm just really feeling the tobacco now. Mm, feels good. I feel it just sort of moving through myself. I can feel it sort of coming out of the palm, palms of my hand. You can also just use it to clear channels in your body. I'm moving it around into my feet now. I'm just feeling it relax all the muscles. Mm, that was good. You can also use it to clear. 
clear energy you might have picked up if you're a sensitive person. This is why schizophrenics and mentally ill people smoke cigarettes, because it pulls them down out of their crazy shit into their bodies. <sighs> so you can blow it into yourself as well. You see a lot of shamans in South America, they cleared the, the field over the head. Kind of do it that all over your body, but I don't really smell like tobacco today. So that was a very mindless puff just then, so you gotta be careful of those ones. The other thing you can do is you can send prayers. Now you don't inhale these ones, but I'm sending a prayer to my mother. Love you, mom. Love you, dad. I'm sending a prayer to my dead dog, Singy. So the main thing is to like really mean it, and mean it genuinely. So those are some of the ways that you can use tobacco. You can also give it as offerings. You can blow it on plants or rocks or places of great natural beauty. You can bless them. Um, because this is a mindful cigarette. This is conscious smoking. Now, the last thing is how to dispose of the tobacco. You never throw it in the bin. You might throw the filter in the bin, but you always throw the tobacco somewhere. So today I'm gonna to give it to a lemon tree. You can't see it in the dark, but trust me, it's there. So I'm gonna just take the rest of the cigarette and just give it to the tree. There you go, lemon tree. Enjoy. That's how you smoke tobacco consciously. <laughs>